First up at 11, the Horry County Joint Facilities and Finance Committee approved phase six of an athletic plan to focus on upgrading softball and baseball fields. Five million dollars would be used once a year to fund it. New at 11, News 13's Adriana Lawrence is live in our newsroom. And Adriana, what improvements were included in this? Bob, Annette, the proposed upgrades include stadium style bleachers, improved drainage, and more seating for those watching the games. Joe Birch, Horry County Schools Coordinator of Capital Projects and Planning, proposed an upgraded seating standard. The proposal would add 100 to 150 more seats to the current one. Almost all schools in the district would receive upgrades, including five schools that currently do not meet the proposed standard. 5A or larger school seating capacities were also proposed. Five years ago, as you know, the South Carolina High School League added 5A uh, to, the, to the classification, so we don't even have a 5A in our current standards, so we need to look at adding that. Horry County School Board also met tonight to approve a proposed settlement offer from Jules' parent company of over $400,000. Horry County School stated it expects to receive the funds in the first half of 2024, but a decision on how the funds would be used has not been made. The topic of book banning was discussed again tonight during public comment, even though it wasn't on the board's agenda. The idea of the First Amendment is pretty simple. If you don't like something, then you don't need to read the book in the first place. Prohibiting the expression of an idea because society finds it to be disagreeable or offensive goes against the wills of the Founding Fathers. But as you also approved at the committee meeting was a $1.1 million demolition project for the old Saucasty Elementary School and a timeline and budget for eight schools to undergo major capital improvements. Live in the newsroom, Adrian Lawrence, News 13.